There's something about a race that goes so many miles. It quickly turns a community of runners into solitary soldiers, battling the course, distance, and time. Spring Arbor University's Nate Martin is used to running alone. He won a 10K just this week, but he never ran this far this long. The NAIA marathon was his first. He set the early pace and no one ever came close. Before this, my longest run was like 20 miles, so I wasn't even sure um, just how the marathon was going to go. The first plan is just kind of go for the win, um, stay with the leaders, um, see how you're feeling. Um, but if you're feeling good, um, then we could look at trying to break the record. Most of the runners weren't here to win it all, but to set personal best. They wound through Marion, Indiana's streets and byways in the only national collegiate marathon in the United States. And the chance to compete at that level draws some from around the world. St. Gregory senior Monica Kalichinska is from Poland, and she ran her first marathon on this day. Early on, she had a running mate, but distance and determination eventually separated them. I thought it would be better to run my pace because I, as we thought with coach, I can do this. So um, I decided to just run my own race and then not wait. Lonely satisfaction for those at the front. Challenge and opportunity for everyone. Long before most of Marion opened its eyes, this now familiar course made memories for all. At the finish line, memories turned into hours, minutes, and seconds. Nate Martin took home his first marathon title and the NAIA record at 2:19:18.70, nearly two minutes faster than the mark last set in 1985. Going into it, I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know if I was going to blow up or if I was going to have a day like this. Um, I knew if I had a good day that I could get the record. Monica Kalichinska kept expanding the margin over her closest competitor and won the women's title at 250-52-70. Great uh, help of my coach and uh, he told me like how to run, uh, like slow at the beginning and then the second half to increase uh, because like before um, I usually start too fast then I slow down and this time it was like opposite so I'm glad. The loneliness and beauty of long distance running, waking up a Midwest town every spring, finishing what every runner starts when they train, all alone, step by step, chasing a dream.